Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an, a Toshiba laptop. This one is an old Toshiba laptop. They have a Intel Pentium Celeron I believe inside and they're pretty much old and I made a video how to upgrade the RAM on this one from 2 or 4 gig to up to 8 gig RAM we can put in this one. You can check my other video to how to upgrade it. But in this video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the hard drive to a solid state drive and that would potentially increase the performance in by about I would say 80% I would say depending the application but for the windows it's going to be a whole lot uh, faster anyway the tools that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set and as always I always use the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there they use an S2 class steel which are toughened steels and they're suitable for electronics and we're going to be using a Phillips number one and flat screwdriver number four. And obviously you will need one thing, one other thing, one important one is a solid state drive. I will leave the a uh, few solid state drives. You can get a cheap brand, which is are the Kingston and A Data, which are really, really low grade SSDs. Or you can go with a high end ones, which are the Samsung, Crucial, and few other ones up there. All right. And you have the SSD ready, and we're gonna flip it upside down. First, let's go ahead and remove the battery. It's not necessary, but we're gonna remove it. If you have it, uh, the lock, which is number one, put it on unlock position. And the second one is a sliding one. Hold it to the left or right, and then lift up the battery. Next, we're gonna remove this service cover. It has been held by two screws under the labels, or you might not have a label, depending. So loosen up the screws. The screws have a seal lock on them, so you cannot actually remove them. You have to just do a few turns and that's it. And next, you want to grab the flat screwdriver. You want to place it right underneath right here. And you want to just peel it off and wiggle it around a little bit. And it should just crack up and come up. So, that is really tough, but you have to pull it really hard on this one. Once you got there, and again, you can see the seal lock right on the bottom here. That's the seal lock that prevents the screw coming out. We're gonna switch back to Phillips number one. Number Phillips number one, yeah. Now in here, the hard drive is right here. This is a mechanical drive that you have. It's been held down by a, a plate right here, which is the caddy. Let's call this a caddy that holds the hard drive in one place. It really has a magnet to it. So yeah. So in order to remove, we have to remove this screw right in here. Is a tiny screw but we cannot pull the hard drive but we have to hold this and pull it back we cannot pull it back it, it will not release completely because of the DVD drive is on the way so we need to push the DVD drive a little backward in order to do that we have to remove this screw right here one same type of screw and now we can actually push the DVD drive outward remove it completely or just leave it like that now we can continue pulling out the hard drive. Once you see the gap right there opening, then it's gently wobble around and take it out and you should have it. This is a Toshiba 500 gigabyte and there's your SSD drive. You have to put it side by side first to make sure that the contact for the SSD for power and SATA are in the same position. So you don't want, you want to put it in the same way. You don't want to put it the other way around, otherwise it's going to be inverted. And we're going to remove this plate and we're going to adjust it right on this one by removing the two screw that hold the plate. All right, let's put the hard drive to one side, grab the plate, bring it over. Now, all you need to do, bring it down, so you align it, sit it down in here. If it goes down, it goes under the jack, so that won't work. You have to make sure that the contact, they have to go through the jack. Because of the SSD is a low profile, lift it up a little bit, just make sure align it so it goes right inside the jack and then push it towards the jack so you have a nice contact right there. And last thing is to push this side back in the DVD drive and put the two screws uh, on the motherboard, one for the DVD drive and one for the SSD drive. So go ahead, grab that. But now remember that there is no Windows or operating system in here. 
you need to get yourself a Windows uh, boot drive from the USB and install your Windows. I made a video, I'll leave the link in the description, how to um, create your own USB Windows boot drive. And I made another video how to install them on a Toshiba. It's easy to install. Once you have the USB drive, you just plug it in, power it on, tap on F12, and you get a series of the options. One of them will say which drive you want to boot from. And you just simply choose uh, your USB drive. And the instructions are really easy. Check my other videos, and you can get your Windows ready and up going within no time. Last thing is to grab the battery, plug it in on the bottom. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to upgrade your laptop. If it did, please click that like button. I really appreciate it. And if you want to support the channel, just subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.